personality or something like that. Now, police girl for UK, <laughs> the only one that was um, knocking boots in the house. She After she's not like, no, I said, no, she, she I did not agree. Somebody suggested it. She was the one who suggested it. <laughs> And I have now husband with the designer with no service. Hello beautiful people, welcome again here. If you're a new subscriber, thank you for stopping by here. I welcome all of you to my platform and today I would be talking about housemates. Let me start with Veneta. Like you guys know, Kathy and Gedoni. Um, Veneta was um, one of the housemates during their season. I just want to give you a brief of Veneta because most of you might not really know who she is a true color so during our season uh, she was very close very close to Kathy so her closeness was not as real as she was claiming to be or she claims to be during that period she was Ein Gedoni in fact it was because of Veneta that made Gedoni to be treating in a very wrong way which nobody believed that both of them would be husband and wife Gedoni was a very nice guy, very talented and humble, but Veneta made him not to be nice to um, the wife now, the dear wife, Kathy, because of his bad attitude character. So sh she now being very close to uh, Adekonle, I think I would I would say uh, Adekonle should be extremely careful. Uh, Veneta is always acting extremely, just like what she did the first day and yesterday, like screaming at someone you're claiming you you are you're the girlfriend to, wanting the world to know that this person is a very bad person, wanting to tarnish um, Adekonle's image. At the same time, you're playing like you're a very nice person. No, that's not how life and how to treat someone. So uh, she has a corny life. Imagine what she just said about someone. She's um she's up for possible eviction. Uh -huh. At the same time, too, she's not knowledgeable to know that this statement might make her to come home to be evicted. Because how can you just sit down and they talk about someone like this? Even though you're talking about Kathy, you don't include the husband, Gedoni. Maybe you both later dated or he slept with you. Maybe you're using the anger now to say what you're saying now. So to me, I feel like uh, she's not doing well in that area. So uh, you watching the video, you've heard what she said. That uh, Kathy gave out the car she won. Uh, the innocent car during the, um, the challenge they had. And she also added the husband that claiming to be a tailor, then he can also a, a good dress. She likes saying weird things about people. I don't know why it's like that. Anyway, let's also take a look at Cece. Cece tells a tale of what Ike told her about the day uh, she saw Libai and Ike were dancing in the corner at the party. According to Cece, she said Libai told Ike that she wants to keep dancing with Ike to make Cross to be jealous, but Cece thinks Libai did that to get a reaction from her hand. Hence, the fight she had with Ike the other night. So, uh, let me start with this. Um, I, I'm happy that Ike was evicted at first because, assuming Ike was still in the house, Cece would have had series of problems with people. Ike's mission was. For him to be triggering Sissy. But Sissy was not smart enough to have noticed it. Thank God he was evicted. Ike always brings different talks, different gists, different lies from different angles to Sissy to believe things that happened and the one that had not happened. Ike would bring it to Sissy and she too she would believe it. Thank God that thank God that Donye pointed at it that what if Ike was lying? Obviously, E.K. was lying, but C.C. was not smart to, to, to have taken note of that. 
Now what for a lawyer or and now since yesterday she's like always attacking Libai, always bringing things that had passed to Libai, always making sure that I don't know what she wants, but then I just hope that God gives Libai's wisdom to withstand some storms because that's what CC wants now. She's ever ready to trick to trigger uh Libai, always ready to attack Libai. Like something happened between uh, white money and Libai Sings. It was yesterday you brought the topic. White money that nominated you for possible eviction. You could not even defend you. You're now fighting for white money. That's not how things are done now. That's not how things are done. And that yesterday she nominated this Donye she's talking with and Libai. Like, <laughs> I don't know what her problem is. Maybe conscience is flogging her, like I said. Sometimes it's good for us to be careful. Who they love with you now? You don't know what thing she or he might have planned or planned against you at the back before coming to be smiling with you in front. So let's take a look at another gist, guys. This part. I'm really sorry. I guess that's, that's the most I could do right now. Recently evicted housemaid Shei Awolowo tears up during interview with Ebuka says he's sorry, so sorry about his misogynistic remarks. Um, um, Shei. So, uh, my opinion on this is that Shei is not sorry from the depth of his heart. Lie, lie. It's just that to me, I feel like he's doing this for brand. You understand? He's just doing it so uh, he won't get knocked out from, you know, deals, you know, opportunities and the rest. But for him to say, I am sorry, I am sorry, na lie. Which sorry now? He go ask you questions upon questions. Normal, normal. You understand? But then, because he has seen that if I'm not doing this, I, I might just be there without contract, without anything. So let me apologize again. Hey. Sometimes in life, you have to be careful with words. Know how you're treading with words. You don't just say things the way you want it to be. Sometimes, almost shape your mouth. When you know that you're a public figure, you're not supposed to open your mouth. Why? To be saying things that are uncalled for. Because you have male children, Abby. So, I don't know what to think about these guys. Let me know it at the comment section. I truly want you to know these things that have to do with Sheyi because one person asked me what Sheyi did that I talked about it. This guy don't do plenty things inside the house so say the statement that got Nigerian to be angry is what he said that uh Ingo train is male children. Tango saying get male children made the male children they fuck they you know they they knock on our daughters <laughs> up down center without <laughs> tangible promise so people never fancy that statement you having male children make your male children come they you know they do another person's daughters anyhow anyhow say how now so that statement was obvious so that was what happened for the person that asked what happened what I why I'm always against him. I'm not against him. Or it's just that the statement he made was not uh, in line with in line with what brought him to the show. He's supposed to had showed his talent because he's talented. I like Sheisha, but then master of game, EK is top five. No be smarty. EK don't carry his own list. Come out though. People is supporting CC Libai Pere Messi. And don't you cross now? Veneta, new cross. Alex are uh, uh, not on his list to now for a kill. <laughs> so, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for stopping by here. Bye and see you guys next again.